Hi Joes, I'm la la la. Hi Joes. Can talk to the camera? Yeah. Uh, it smells like food now. Does it? Do not think if it smells like food. <laughs> <laughs> Man's hungry. <laughs> Are you recording already? Yeah, I was recording for like one minute and okay. 40 seconds. I do this in the... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I do, I do that as well. <laughs> hey dolls. Okay, I'll do it again. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Hey dolls, I'm La La Love and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe so you come back for more uploads. I'm with a guest. You may recognize this person by the name of Jojo Slips. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm on La La's channel today. Cause you know, we thought we'll just collaborate. We've been wanting to collaborate for the longest. Like? The longest. Like what, a year? <laughs> like yeah, a yeah, long a time. Long year, long year. And we've Gone and bought a video and like, yep, yeah, let's get let's get this done. But we've never actually no. done, done the video. <laughs> no. So we're we're here in the yes, flesh to yes. do this video for you guys. Excited. So we've got a shake shack muck. Shake shack, we've got the flavours, we've got the bacon cheesy fries, we've got the burgers. <sighs> Listen, I'm ready. Can we're ready. Like, you guys already know how I do all my channel with my eating shows. And you've seen Lala's eating shows, so I've done like one. This is like the second one. Oh, this is your second this one. is gonna be the funniest. Like I can't really tell. Yeah. I can't really tell. My belly's rumbling, I haven't had no breakfast. Same. No ding dallying, no long talking. No long talking. This is good into the mutt bang. I love that it's on a tray, so you can just pull out yeah, so the whole good. thing. Oh, it's actually a bit cold though. Is it? I can pause it and, and reheat the fries in that um oven, that's what I do. Do they go crispy or something? Yeah, crispy. Kind of yeah. Eventually. Right, so what have we got? What have we got? You go first, what have you got? So I got... I don't know if you guys can see that. I got... Yeah, I'll look Chips, at plain chips. Mm -hmm. Then I got a burger called the Shack My Star. Yeah, show them. That used to be my favourite burger, guys, but I had to stop eating meat. Look at that. It's so pain. It's got crispy Ooh. onions, <sighs> burger, Shack sauce. Uh, the cheese, everything oh. just looks... When they add bacon to it, it's, oh. it's all over. It's all over. Mmm. Alright, I've got cheese fries with extra cheese sauce um, and I've got a shroom burger because it eats it. Look at that, yeah. What's that? Um, Kitty got it last time we went Shake Shack and she said it was really good and yeah. So, I had no choice really because yeah. <laughs> it's long, it's really long. Here you go. Oh cheers. No problem. So when we get stuck in because we have not eaten and it's bloody starving. Did you get a shrimp burger? Shrimp burger? I wish. What's shroom. Oh, mushroom. Shroom. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's like a giant portobello mushroom and it's deep fried with like crispy with cheese inside of it. I guess that makes up for it though. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. I've never tried it though, so we'll see. Yeah, pang. Good. Mm. Mm. The cheese and the crispiness makes up for the meat. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I love how the sauce. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, in the monitor, I can just see sauce like laying on top of my lip. Yeah, it's good, mm. and it's cheaper too. It's like five fifty, so it's not bad. Like, do you know what I mean? It's more reasonable than the actual meat burgers, but still, there's no meat in it. <laughs> I don't know how much this one was. Mmm, mmm. So look at the cheese dripping. Oh my god! Oh, look at that. Oh my! Oh, oh that looks sexy. That looks good. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. For my meat lovers, get into that bacon, get into that crispy onion. Trust me. Oh, you had the bacon to it? Yeah. <gasps> he was like, yeah. I'm like, of course I did, bitch. Like, what do you we're think? Gonna, if we're going to go in, <laughs> we're going to go in. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I also got a concrete. That's sitting in the freezer because that was melting. Never had their concretes before, but I heard they're pretty good. So, what shall we talk about? We did mention we'll talk about... <laughs> Bloggers and <laughs> black plus size bloggers who don't get given an equal chance, who don't get given trips and you know decent freebies and brand deals and sponsorships and endorsements. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what's your thoughts, Joe? <laughs> Sadly, mm -hmm. we don't really get these blogger trips, these events. Mm, events. E events. Mm. And all these other stuff that normal bloggers get. Yeah. At least an event, like, what, what is an event? It's not a big deal to, like, just send someone an invite. 
you know what I mean? You're not paying for me to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? It eventually happens. If it's, but you could just send a one to your mother. I don't get it. Never do I. And for the brands that are out there doing, you know, they're bringing out their plus size ranges. Yeah. Where are, why are we not invited? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> and I'm there doing big fashion hauls and racking Promoting up Promoting your clothes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> T. When um, Pretty Little Thing did their um, new curve um, range and I did the review on it and it was a fail because it was shit. It was whack. It was completely whack. Don't ever get it twisted. I never saw them do like an event to really launch it and invite any bloggers yeah. to come. That's what they should have done. Do you know what I mean? But with their other collections, they want to do it. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Invite all the slim girls, invite all the skinny girls, and have fun and do your thing and kiki. Mm -hmm. But when it comes time for the plus size, you know, it's like they don't want to. Mm, nah, they don't want to see our face. They don't want to see our fat faces. Cool, cool, cool. I'll keep my coin then. And the main thing is, this one is first on the TL. Tweet him. Mm. Tweet him. Mm. Surely you're seeing her tweets. Of course they are. But... They're airing it because they don't want the embarrassment. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. They don't want to get hotted up in it. Let's be real. And then because I'm not like big like that, they don't, they don't feel no need to like message me. Oh well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? If I had a bigger name, like a household name, they'll be like, yeah. yeah. Um, but they're not bothered in it. Don't worry, one day soon. Not now, but soon. Then you'd be quick to jump in my DMs. Oh, uh, Lala, can you, um, we're gonna sponsor you for this, uh, no. There's actually none, though, honestly, there's none. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm watching, all, I'm, in my head, I'm watching vlogs go through my head and I'm thinking, all these trips that these big bloggers or influencers are going on, where are they? Like, Benefit did their big, big trip. Where well, did they go, Maldives? Yeah, I think so, yeah. All right, they did a trip with the US bloggers and then they did a trip with UK bloggers, yeah? Um, I can't really speak for Benefit US because I don't live there yet. <laughs> but um, the UK one, was there anyone on there, on that trip, that looked like me or you? Like, like no. No. Like, they had one dark-skinned blogger, which was Patricia Wright. As always, that's the token dark-skinned blogger that they take on every trip or give, like, or every event invite, do you know what I mean? Yeah. In the UK, like, she's the token one. She's the go-to girl. Yeah. Um, fair enough, because she has the most, like, subs. Mm. The first black girl to ever get, like, a million subs in the UK and that. Fair enough. But, like, does it mean she has to be the token? Like, you could have invited so many other, like, big but, bloggers as well. But they deliberately they decided not to. Good for them. I stopped giving Benefit my money, like, a while. But one thing is... I'm not, I'm not even gonna say, mm. um, Layla is curvy. You know who I'm talking about? No, Meet who's the Layla? Lovers. No. Layla Love. No. I would have heard of her. Um, they the same similar name. <laughs> <laughs> Layla Love on Instagram. I wouldn't say she's, I would say she's curvy. Mm. But I wouldn't say she's plus size. But they did a, um, I think they just did a little launch in a shop. Oh, was that it? No, in fact, did they even put online so people could see to come down? No, and then there was a launch in London, I think. And then... There was, because my friend went. So there was a launch? For, I think it was some other thing they had going on. I think it may, might, might have been a mascara or something. For who? Benefit. Oh, what, well, you're talking about this year? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the same one that they did when they took everyone yeah. to the trip. Yeah, the, the bad girl and mascara. That's another thing. I'm so tired of these brands using these um these let me just put it plain and simple these words you did not invent you did not make up yeah bad gal that's that's all these jamaican caribbean black owned words i'm sorry yeah i'm gonna say black owned because i'm sorry you're taking our words and you're and putting it into your brands and into your campaigns marketing. and yeah and using it as your own and it's not it's like i'm it's so not tired it's not, it's not okay no it's really not even misguided it sometimes too like they'll they'll put out an email and say um, leave the fuck boy on read and all this, and I'm just like, wow. Ah. <laughs> they're, they're really trying to catch people. No, your they teenagers, do. they've got the marketing on lock. No, no, the thing is, they try too hard. Stop trying too hard to relate to our generation. Like, just keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, they just try too hard. I'm tired of it. I'm just, I'm just tired of coming on the timeline every day. And seeing and see them. Yeah, and just seeing that and, and just more like racist crap as a whole and just like anti not even racist crap. I'll even say anti blackness. Yeah. Cause that covers most of it. 
you know what I mean? Not everything is racist. Something is just like really anti-black, but doesn't necessarily mean to be racist. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh. Like the whole Skepta, Naomi Campbell, GQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you see what the newspaper said? Yeah. How Skepta is a breakthrough artist. And then even one newspaper didn't even mention his name. They just said Naomi Campbell, supermodel, and her rapper boyfriend or something. And I was like, <laughs> Skepta doesn't even get his name mentioned. And even when Stormzy won. They always do Stormzy dirty. They always Wait. do him dirty. That's why he's always clapping back. Always. He clapped back at the Daily Mail. He clapped back at Theresa May. I love Stormzy because he, he doesn't care. They don't want to see us win. Mm-mm. At all. Or when we do win, mm. they don't want to celebrate celebrate us. No, they want to tear us down. In the way they want to celebrate other people. Mm. Of always. different skin tones. Always. Of a lighter shade. Like the shade like my, my chip, that's who they want to celebrate. They don't want to celebrate anybody <laughs> darker than this colour. <laughs> it's true though. It's true. If you're this colour or dark or lighter, you're good. If you're any darker than this chip, like no. Like the brown paper bag uh, method they used to use back oh, in slavery times. Oh, yeah. Like literally, like you think those times have changed. They haven't. Really and truly. This is just like the, the modernised version of those times. Like, And that's what's really sad. Mm. Like I was saying as well, like I was going to um, buy this guest bag. It's really hard to find bags that are like pink and big they normally do really small ones that are pink yeah. do you know what I mean? like a giant bag and I found one and it was Guess right? and I was like this is actually pretty like it's got like embroidery and whatever, whatever and I thought to myself right I do want to buy it but do I want a part of my money in case this brand turns out to be racist yeah. and I went on Twitter and I was like I want to buy this Guess bag but do you guys know if the brand is racist? because I, you know, I want to know if I'm part of my coin and I was like in the next tweet I was like it's really a shame that I have to do my research before buying brands. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You have to do your research, like, because you, you get mad yeah. when you find out. Yeah. Look what Gucci did the other day with the headscarf. With oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the turban. Yeah. They be... <laughs> they be trying it. They really be trying it. No, why do you consistently <laughs> continue to do this? We keep telling you guys to stop it. We told Mark Jacobs. Why you have? Why do you have dreads on your white models in your fashion show? He clapped back and said that why are we straightening our hair, which made no sense. But that's another story. Like we we keep Is telling him. Yeah, you didn't hear about that. He was like, why do black women straighten their hair? Like as if that's culture appropriating white people. Do you know why black women straighten their hair? Because we can't get jobs if we don't straighten our hair. We don't get that office job. We don't get a job in retail. We don't. You think I can shop like this? to a job even, even this. Fair enough it's pink, but even if it wasn't pink, I couldn't show up like this. Like, no, they'll just be like, mmm. Even if it was in braids, they still wouldn't accept it. Neatly in braids, they still be like, nah. Mm. They're sending like black kids home from school because they have cameras. Yeah, like, I saw that in the newspaper. Come on, do you know what I mean? This is why we're straightening our hair to, to, so we can be accepted, so we can work and earn money and live. In like, society in the same age. Yeah, like we're, we're, it's, we're pressured into doing it, do you understand? So please, come off that bullshit, Mark Jacob. Like, really and truly. But yeah, we've been telling these designers, and they're not listening to them. And then Gucci still decides, oh yeah, let's put a turban on our models. That's so fashionable. Go suck your mum. Would you be like, yeah. crazy? I just looked at him and thought, why would you do that? Like, what? What? What's going on? Yeah. Hey. Nah. Jesus, stop doing that. I don't think they ever will. My friend was saying that I think that they feed off our outrage. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? get the talk talking. Yeah. And it's like, and also, what she said that was so mind blowing is that they do it deliberately so black people and people of colour don't buy their stuff and they only want white people to buy their stuff anyway. So by doing that, they make sure that they keep white people in their clothes and keep black people and people of colour out of their clothes. Deep in it. My, my mind went. Boom. I was, she's white by the way, you know Kitty, she was yeah, on my yeah. channel, yeah, like, whoosh. like my mind blew, blew, I was like, that's fucked up. You finished that proper quick? Yeah. I feel like I've been talking more than you. Yeah. How was it? It was very light. <laughs> I love it when you did the, into yeah, it. oh, beautiful. Listen, yeah, if you're in the UK and you still haven't tried Shake Shack, then we'll try it out. Yeah, like, hurry up, like, get well, your nearest so one. There's loads. There's loads. Like, Check them out on Twitter. I might have to buy one, get one free. <laughs> Do you know, I'm still waiting for them to sponsor me, but it ain't gonna happen until I have, like, I don't know, a big number. I wanna get Nando's black card, even though yeah. I don't eat, But you don't like Nando's. No, they don't wash their chicken. I've told you this. I'm yeah, sure I have. I yeah, thought everybody. Yeah, you, you, you have. Alright. 
and I don't have time for that. And then they recently came out saying that they use McCain chips for their chips. And yeah, people are like, what's the big deal? Yeah, but it's a special recipe or something like that. No, it's not. It's McCain <laughs> chips. No, but they said it's a special type of McCain. Oh, no, what? <laughs> they, and they have, that they have, uh, <laughs> that they have like a special, uh, I, I think it's a recipe. I don't think it's, <laughs> they're chips. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking, like, what can you put in chips to make them special? <coughs> Clearly, they're <laughs> potato cut crisp. A special type of McCain. McCain is a McCain. I don't understand. Why lie? If you're going to tell the truth and come out and say it's McCain, like, speak the whole truth and it's safe with your chest. Next time I go, I probably have to, like, Analyze the chips. No, I wouldn't even bother because, like, what it is the big deal for me is that obviously chips are chips in it, whatever. If they want to take people chips, are. yeah, if they want to take people chips, whatever, that's your business, that's between you and the company, that's nothing to do with me. The only problem is with me is that I'm not gonna pay like how much are their chips, four pounds? Yeah, I'm not gonna pay four pounds for chips, I can pay one pound for a, a bag wise, of it, wise, I, I yeah. Suppose, yeah. So, for me, because I'm like a bit of a bargain hunter, like, that's why that I'd be annoyed. Me. But besides that, See, I didn't really care. Like that. I was just mm. like, okay, then I, I saw the specials. Like, I thought, there must be something different about these. No. <laughs> but like, I'm that, I'm that person who thinks, like, I get paid for when I buy a meal deal. Oh. Like, and I'm just like, the sandwich is £2.50. And, uh, but at least with a meal deal, like, you're, you're saving. You know what you can get yeah. a meal deal with um, that drink, that smoothie drink? Like the likes. naked, yeah. yeah. If you don't get the naked one, I don't know what you're doing. Because mm. that alone is a good, what, £2? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That drink alone is two pounds. Like almost three. Yeah, man. it's almost the whole meal. So, <laughs> That's why we can So you, you, might as well get, you might as well get your free chips and your free sandwich. You know what I mean, guys? I got full, so I've got like like some chips. I boxed left. it off. <laughs> Literally, and I need to make room for the concrete. Like I'll grab that in a bit. It's in the freezer. That's what it's called a concrete. I yeah. Got concrete now. I but bad. you know what? It's actually expensive because it was like four pounds for that little cup. I thought it was even supposed to be like at first I thought it was a concrete like shake, actual shake with like bits on top. But I guess it wasn't clear in the menu, and I didn't bother to change it when it came. I was like, whatever. Four pound, uh, I was really annoyed at the man trying to argue with me about my cheese sauce. Like yeah. I was just like, whatever. Like just give my cheese sauce. Give my, give my food. Like yeah. I'm hungry, isn't it? Like get my food. And then I think four pound could get me. Something more like yeah. it's actually small. When I bring it, you'll see like it's actually small. I thought man could have got like two Ben Jerry's. Went that one off of the two fifty. Oh, that's so true. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and I normally have some in my freezer, but it's gone. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the concrete. Can you see it? Oh. What is it like? Chocolate hazel. It's chocolate with peanut butter chunks and pretzel. It's a bit Ooh. mixed up, but yeah, I just think it's a little bit small for four pound, but it might be nice. That's no, that's how they packed it in though. I can mm. hear crunches like it's like. No, it's the pretzel. Oh. It's really sweet though. Overpowering. Yeah, mm. but it's still like nice. But it's not something I could eat in one sitting. I could just mix with. I like the thought behind it. But yeah. No, their desserts are nice though. When they came out with that. Did you ever see it was like a donut with like ice cream in the middle? No, I didn't see sauce. that. It was so good. But you know what? We need to, you know, support other bloggers yeah. that don't get the attention that we deserve. Mm. Like, there's so many amazing people and there's so many amazing threads on Twitter mm -hmm. which have loads of other black bloggers that are there. Like, yeah. loads of threads. I know. Um, no one wants to support anybody. Classic. Manny's got a thread. Um, who else has got a thread? What? I'll try and link. Alani, I'll, I'll Alani has one too. I'll try and link them in the comments or put mine in the comments. Yeah, because I remember but, I posted on Alani's one and people were following, but then they unfollowed like a couple of days afterwards. So it's like threads are good, but people have to consistently follow it and make sure you follow people you actually would watch. Don't yeah. follow just for the sake of it. Yeah. And then you unsubscribe ten days later. And then you it. Yeah. It's done because then once my following goes up on YouTube, and then because I'm on a thread. And then the next week, it's gone back down again. Five more people have unsubscribed because why? They only followed because it was in a thread. And they realise they don't care for my videos. No, go and see if you like the person's video. Wow. See if you like their content and then click subscribe. So you know you're going to stay subbed or else what's the point? You're, you're basically gassing them up and it's like kind of fake support. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's fair or to support who you like. The people that support but never subscribe. Mm. But they'll be the first on Twitter to be like, I love this video. Mm. And, you know, they'll, they'll put your link and stuff like that. I'm just like, but you can't. 
subscribe. It's good that they're still doing that though. If they got a big page, it's yeah. not very helpful, but yeah, subscribe. And also like commenting underneath people's videos, clicking like. Yeah. I got so many videos that have like decent views and the likes are very low because people aren't thinking to like click like. And even though I've said it, they're still not doing it for whatever reason. And it's like you clearly like it because, you know, you, you commented. Yeah, yeah, you've commented or you or you watched it. Like, I got the view, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, not, not necessarily saying just because you watched it, you liked it. You might not have liked it, but I'm sure you did. <laughs> I find good channels on the side. Like if I'm watching videos, I find them good videos on the side, so I can see the why. The sidebar of when you're on someone's page. On the video, on some like if I'm oh, watching a video. Yeah, yeah. I'll find some good on the other side. Like in the feature channels, yeah. kind of bit. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Or similar videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, I think that happens to me as well. I just don't know how they call it when um, you look at the stats. I don't know what it's under. Yeah. When I posted my last haul, which is like now by the way, make sure like you know, do your thing like. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you got it. You got it. Just That's funny too, horse. <laughs> it really <laughs> it, it does. My receipt was long, you know. <laughs> Listen. That's why I don't do horse. Listen, you should though. You know what what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do. I will do hauls. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna take out twenty two hundred pound, mm -hmm. and I'll just keep going shops, return it, return it. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, that's so exactly what you do. What's new? What's new? Mm. Cool. Cool. But your horse is quite good though. I try in it. <laughs> I try. I appreciate it. It would be nicer if um, there was more love, but I'm very thankful for the love I do get and the support I do get. So if you watch my hauls and you do support it, like man loves you, isn't it? Like, right here. In the heart. What kind of forever? Such a good film, by the way, if you haven't watched it. Uh, how many times have you seen it? Just once? Yeah, once. You need to see it again. I know. You can't see it one time. You really cannot. It's like... I need to see it again. It's not something you can see once at all. What do you think about people's response to it? Like, people that are not black. I, 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 on Twitter, <laughs> I thought someone said they got punched up in the cinema. Really? Yeah. Why? I, I'm sure I saw it was either on the news or... So uh, someone apparently got punched up in the cinema, a white guy, and he was like, oh, all I was trying to do was watch Black Panther and look what they did to me. <laughs> <I'm sh> <laughs> He's a liar. He's a, if they punched you, bruv, you got punched for a reason. <laughs> because you're talking in the movie. Even when we're watching Captain America, mm -hmm. oh, we're not talking. <laughs> we're not talking. Bruv, when I am when this one. We are not talking. <laughs> no, but it's the thing. I bet it wasn't just a thing where he was just talking. Yeah. I bet like he was talking shit. Yeah. He was talking crap. Oh, this is a racist film. This is stupid. Do you know what I mean? It's actually a full black cast. With like two white people. With, with, yeah. And one white guy is a villain, so he doesn't even count because he dies. Yeah. So he's not in it for like that much long. And then you have the white guy hit that guy. That's yeah, helping. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So that's why they're mad. But it's like, how mad do you think we've been feeling watching all these white films for years and decades? Superman, Iron Man, the like, trilogy. Even trilogy. films that aren't even superhero films. Like, all, yeah, like there's so many films that are strictly white. Like, even the films that are all black cast. If you're in the UK, we don't even see half of them in the cinema. Yeah, true. Most black films do not come in the cinema. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They always go straight to video or online. I always, what's funny is I always watch trailers on YouTube. Same. Thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to watch this film. And then it never comes out. I know it does come out, but it just never hits the big screen. No, it doesn't. It hits the screen in the US, yeah. but not in the UK. Why? Because the UK is anti-black. <laughs> I've been saying this for the longest. I remember when Hidden Figures came out and I thought it wasn't gonna come out in the cinema, mm. so I was ready to cuss in the world. I was like, duh, 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 duh. I'm like oh, no, it's not out here, duh, duh, duh. it's only out here. I was like, why is it only out there and not and not everywhere? Yeah, everywhere. Do you know what I mean? It was only out in Wood Green and I was like, no, like but why? And it's like whoever I was talking to, I think they didn't have the proper information, so yeah. they were chatting shit. And it finally came out everywhere and I was just like, God is good, because I was gonna flip on Cinema World. Like, don't be doing that. But this the thing. we've got Cinema World cards, Unlimited. Yeah, Unlimited. like and then I'm what am I paying Unlimited for for you to not put my Film one. Films with my own people in it. Like you see the new one with Taraji coming out. Yeah, yeah, I see that. It's yeah. a couple, Proud Mary and another one. I'm sure the other one isn't gonna hit the cinema. I just know. I just know it won't. So I'm not even getting my hopes up because you know the ones there where like you get gassed and, and then it never comes out. <sighs> but Black Panther was really good. Also, um, for the name of it now. What is it? Like it's coming out. Or no, it really came out. Very good. All black cast women. Oh, girls trip! Yeah, girls trip once again. And look, yeah. look what people were even saying about that as well. Like, oh, it was there. And look how much like it won in the sense of like, okay, it sold out box office. Like, it smashed like the, the box office in terms of like how much they even, earned. I think yeah. it was like 
was it 900 no 90 mil i think they made in box office wow. or something like that some like a high number don't quote me but a lot black panther do you know what number they're on no, i don't even know over 100 mil wow over 100 mil and yeah. I swear, like, um, I saw it because they did a comparison to, like, the four movie that came out. Yeah, 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 yeah. they did a comparison. Someone on Twitter co compared all the Marvel films and how much they sold in the box office on the re uh, launch, release. Like, on the yeah. week. In, yeah, yeah. The, the launch week, that's it. Tongue-tied. And all of them were listed just before Black Panther and none of them touched what Black Panther did. And then they want to turn around and say black films Yeah, and give us money. bad reviews. Like they don't bring money, they they're not good, they're shit. Blah, blah, blah. How about stop making films where black people are slaves and drug dealers and start or making get killed off first? Thank you. In in scary films. Yeah, <laughs> the us. Like we don't know how to protect ourselves. Like okay, and it these times we <laughs> these times we <laughs> we got a can of water. Yeah, out <laughs> we can hold beatings and then we go to school. Like, And then they don't want to give us awards at award shows or oh, give us time mate. or try and cut our time. I remember time. watching um, a video and I think Taraji JP, I mm -hmm. don't know, she was doing her award. She was like, yeah, thank you so much. And I'm like, yeah, time to cut you off. She was like, no, this is my moment. <laughs> and Yes, Taraji, like, tell them, tell them. It's I crazy. And it I swear um, the director for Bless Screenplay won the Oscars. Oh, you mean um, Get Out? Yeah, Get Out. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah Jordan yeah. Peele. Yeah. Listen, it was it was well earned, and people are still saying. I think I'm not sure. That was amazing film. It was it was great. It, I saw it twice in cinema. I actually want to watch it again. I might watch it tonight. Is it? Listen, I haven't seen it like on like at home yet. I yeah. don't think, but I've seen it twice in cinema, and I bought it on um you know the Amazon Prime. Yeah, films. yeah, yeah. I had to. You have to support, man. Yeah. Again, support. we're talking about support. Like you guys are quick to say that people aren't supporting each other, but you, are you supporting people? Like if a good film comes out. Buy it, especially if it's a black director. Support it, Buy and it. then show everyone that you're supporting it, and then they will support it. Yeah. Speaking of supporting, quickly before we end the video, because I'm sure it's getting long now. This whole Monique situation, did you hear about it with Netflix? No, I haven't heard about it. All right, briefly, quickly, you guys might not heard either. So, if you're a big Netflix fan, you might know um, Netflix has like basically comedy like specials. Yeah. So Dave Chappelle is known to do his, and he's hilarious. Also, apparently Amy Schumer had one. I don't know because I don't care for the bitch. I don't. Yeah, she's she's crap. Anyway, and <laughs> Does Kevin Hart have one? Yeah, he yeah, has yeah. one too. He has a couple. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, all them people there, they get offered like millions for their comedy specials. Yeah, millions. Amy Schumer got offered eleven mil, and she negotiated and said, "No, I want it more." They gave her a two mil on top. So my girl got thirteen mil for her comedy special. And then now they want to do one for Monique, yeah, you know, the one that was yeah. in Precious, you know, yeah, yeah. King, Queen Comedy. Monique is, like, if you don't know who Monique is, then you're living under a rock, especially if you're in the black community. Like, she's funny, she's been around for years, the Parkers, etc. They offered her 500k. Not even a million, half a million, 500k for a comedy special. That's disgusting. It's rude. That's disgusting. Why did they do that? Because she's a black female. Like, you know you're at the bottom of the chain, do you know what I mean? You're black but and also you know female. that would be the most viewed comedy video on you. On do you know what I mean? It would definitely be up there. It would be more viewed than Amy. Who who cares for Amy Schumer? I don't know anybody who cares for Amy Schumer. I don't even and I have white friends and they, they never mention Amy Schumer to me. So who watches Amy Schumer? Who? I don't know who watches her. Who cares? 13, 13 mil. <laughs> and then when Moni tried to negotiate, they said no. But when Amy negotiated, oh yeah, we'll give you two more on top. Nah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Netflix. You're so obviously, obviously Monique was mad, rightfully so. You know Charlemagne the God? Yeah. He was calling her donkey of the day and all that. He's a, he's a douche anyway. She went to the radio station and like cussed them out, but she did it as as calmly and as professionally as possible. I loved it. I love it when, you know, we... we clap back. Clap back in, in, the, in the right way. Right, in because the right way. Because as soon as you want to, you know, give them a little attitude, they then want to... Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, we're, we're aggressive, we're rude. We're aggressive. Or we're hard us... to work with. Especially as she's plus size too, I think yeah. it's also that. Because like we were saying earlier about like plus size black people yeah. getting like brand deals and stuff like that. It's the same thing. Because even though she's lost a lot of weight, she's still like big and she's still looked at as big. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it'll take people a long time for, for, for like you to picture Monique as slim. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because she's been big for so many years. And so and she's yeah. she's been out there for so many years. Yeah, like but she's been like big yeah. since, do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, but she's smaller now, but I feel like that her weight will still work against her as well as 
her skin tone and as well as probably being female too even people like wonder sykes who's also a female black comedian she's a lesbian and she got offered even less than 500k and she's quite up really? there as well wonder sykes is in you know blackish yeah yeah you know the black woman with afro that sits in the office oh uh, is that her? oh my god I yeah she, she all her and only the queens of comedy touring around that's they sold that. out tours Netflix. years ago like that that if you know like comedy from back in the day with women like some more and all that you know who wonder sykes is and monique you know like these are the kind of people that inspire people like tiffany haddish that we have now who by the way got a netflix store recently and she just accepted it because she's a newbie so she was like yeah give me the money i need it and they gave her 800k so even they give her more than monique and monique's been out longer can you imagine? That's bad. Do you see what I mean? So it's like, again, it's it's like it's race, but it's also, you know, I, I think it's race and what you look like. And it's also, I suppose, you know, people have also been saying she's hard to work with and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you're demanding your worth, then of course people are going to keep targeting you as, as being difficult and aggressive. Yeah. And, do you know what I mean? And people are going to keep, you know, saying, um, giving you something no, not even that. Expecting you to work for free, because that happened to her as well. There was that whole Tyler Perry and Oprah oh, yeah, drama. Yeah. Did you hear about it? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, like getting her to promote the, the film Precious for free, and that's, you know, that's not on. No, that's not. No. Who does that? No. That's like us as YouTubers being asked to promote a brand for free. Like, no, you have to give us something. Yeah. Like, even if we just started YouTube yeah. today, you have to give us at least free products, at least. That like, you don't... Who's going to promote you for free? Yeah. And more times now, people want to be giving us freebies, like... It, like it's gonna pay our rent yeah like it's true i mean it's, it's great to have like free hair yeah. and free makeup but yeah it's really not gonna like keep my light on like it's really not gonna it's beat well. my cat like who's back behind me by the way <laughs> like yeah. it's something but it's not no and that's what even what she said as well she was like that's not gonna be able to feed my family and she had small kids at the time as well so she was like why should i be away from my children to go and promote a film and i'm not even getting paid yeah it's really an issue but um just gotta continue fighting the fight and just be very so, strong in what you believe in and don't ever take no for an answer if you're not happy with the answer definitely do you know what i mean always negotiate do you know what i mean and if you're being like and compromise like yeah if you're being treated unfairly or, like pull it up yeah like say something don't just like be hush hush about yeah. it because one of the didn't say anything and too many put it to the limelight and then she was like oh yeah you know what they are they offered me less i think they offered her like 200k or 300k so yeah so then when it was like wow this is definitely something that's like you know a thing yeah it really is but there's people like Charlemagne that want to say no da, 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 you know you stop being a victim uh, how is it a race thing how is it a woman thing and, is that what she was saying? Uh, that's what Charlemagne was saying oh because Charlemagne was like how is it against women if Amy Schumer got 30 mil. She's white with blue eyes and blonde hair. Of course she's gonna get more money than a fat black woman. Like, of course, come on. That's like, I'm so tired of Charlemagne because it's like your ignorance is like, it's not even bliss for you. Like, it, it, it's dumb, like you're, you're dumb. Like, you actually really are stupid. Because it's like, you're married to a black woman, you're black, your kids are black. You need to be real, be real with yourself, be real with what's going on around you and show your children because when these kind of things happen with them, what are you gonna tell yeah. them? Oh no, you're wrong, you're not hard done by, you know. Mm. You, keep, you just accept it. Yeah, like, no. that's one thing I can't stand is like black people who forget that, you know, these things actually do exist. Yeah, or, you, know, you know, see it but don't say anything about it. Yeah, like, why are you trying to like... Why I like, it's... Like, we all see it. Yeah, like, I don't get it. Well, what benefits them by acting like it doesn't exist? I don't understand. Like, I really don't. This whole pull the race card. I get it. Cool, that does exist. But when it's necessary, say it with your chest. Yeah. You know what I mean? You it up. Yeah, you shouldn't be afraid to talk about something if it's the truth. Do you understand? And if you have your and receipts. Like, and it, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it, it's from within. Like, and you're passionate about it. Why shouldn't I be able to... Say that, yeah, and yeah. facts, say it. Right, that's what I'm saying, receipts. Because she came with receipts, you know. Yeah, you you need to watch the interview at Rose Club, it was so funny. The way she put Charlemagne, she put, she put on him. I to watch it. She didn't even call it. him Charlemagne, the God. She called him by his actual name. What's his name? Something dumb like Urkel. I don't know, it was like Lester or something, or I don't know, he had a, just a I to watch dumb it. name. And she just kept calling him that, and she didn't call him anything. Get Leonard, that's it. Le Leonard or something. Oh, oh my God. And she was like, okay, Leonard. Leonard, Leonard. <laughs> I need to watch it. I need to watch it now. You guys haven't watched it, I'll link it below. I need to watch it. <laughs>
<laughs> so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, mukbang with me and Jojo. Please make sure you check him out on his channel. I will be linking it below. <laughs> he does really hilarious mukbang videos. Yeah. I mean, hilarious. His last one was... was What's your last one? Your Jamaican yeah, 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 food. I did a Jamaican food that one. That one was funny. <laughs> I, did I was like, where was the rum punch? <laughs> but, I someone told me to get a large, which is like... <laughs> Like, like, pay for the large, pay for home. Yeah, yeah. Pay for home with the large. If you want me to get more food, then... <laughs> like, send me the money, innit? Yeah. Like, man's not rich out here. Gift vouchers, yeah. food, gift vouchers. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, in fact, put the money in my like, delivery yeah. account. <laughs> There's gift cards for delivery. <laughs> there really are for everything now. And email. Oh, so oh, if you yeah, want to, you know, get the meats. If you want to PayPal me or get some gift cards for me to splash out for your enjoyment, yeah, then pay up. Pay oh, up. Sorry, because YouTube are taking away our ads. Right, I, I everything from my us. My stuff isn't monetized no more now. Another cut has gone. I had four pounds in my, in my, in my it gone off. it's still there. But how can I get it? Because you can't draw out money to get to sixty pounds. So my four pounds just sitting there. So yeah, I can't get it. My vid my videos aren't monetized no more. That's it. Because I'm under the. The requirement. Oh, I don't have a thousand. K. Yeah. What is it? One K. Yeah, you gotta have one K and eight eighteen thousand views. Yeah, yeah. I've already got eighteen thousand views. I just don't have one K subscribers because people aren't subscribing. So yeah, I'm not getting yeah. paid, and I'm still here. If I'm you want to shine these walls, you got. You got support, you gotta but the that's what I'm saying about support. People don't want to support. It's a red button. People don't want to support. It's, it's, a free it's cool. Button. It's cool. It's cool. Because when I'm out here, I don't be like, oh la la yeah, nah, no. nah, nah. Like, nah, you didn't, you you didn't, you didn't see it, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. But anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully we might do another one on Jojo's channel. Another one, definitely. We're going to yeah. do one on my channel. Very soon. Very soon. So that will update you guys on that on our social media. So if you're not following her. Yeah. Socials below. Socials Both below. of our socials will be below. And let us know which mukbang you want us to do on his channel. Yeah, what food you want us you know, to order. Because we haven't decided no, yet. No, we haven't decided yet. Yeah, so we're going to leave it down to you. Throw suggestions in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Kisses.